So recently, someone I know passed on, and we weren't very close. He is someone that I known from a music group online, and you may also experience this. For those people who are you are very close to, you may experience a deep sense of grief. But when it comes to people that you know on a acquaintance level. When they pass on and they just disappear like that, it may trigger you to do some self-reflection and introspection about life and death. For example, someone who is a celebrity pass away, like recently Matthew Perry from Friends pass away. That may trigger you to do some introspection and ask yourself what is the point of living when we all die in the end. So in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts and. Perspective on this, I will share my thoughts on what's the meaning of life, and in general, my views on life and death. I will also share my thoughts on destiny and purpose, and also about karma. So first, as spiritual being, why do we come to Earth, and what's the point of living when we are all going to die in the end? This question is similar. To asking a question like, why do we go for a holiday when we are all going to come back home in the end? When we plan for a holiday, we leave home and go to the destination, and then we have to come back home eventually. And if the starting point and ending point is your home, why do we need to even go to another country and travel out of the, our home country? The purpose of traveling is to. Have an adventure and have new experiences. This is the same reason why we spiritual being come to Earth. We came here for the experience. Whether the trip is a good one or a bad one, it's still an experience that is different from our normal life. When we are fully connected to the source energy, there is no separation. There is only oneness. Being in a physical human form. Allows us to have new experiences. It allows us to feel our spiritual being that we are from a different vantage point. And the purpose of traveling is not always for a, an adventure. Some of us travel for business meeting. Some of us travel to another country to meet a friend. Some of us just want to go to another country and see how we feel about it and decide what we're going to do. When we are there, but whatever our purpose is, is kind of predetermined. Predetermined doesn't mean that your purpose is given to you. Predetermined means that before you manifest into a physical form, you have already decided what your purpose are. It's just like how you plan for a holiday. Before you go on a holiday, you already have some things in mind you want to do, and you know what your purpose is. In going to another country, however, like most holiday, things doesn't always go according to plan. Destiny doesn't rule everything. It doesn't mean that you have predetermined a purpose. Then that is the path that you are going to proceed. There is another thing called will. We all have will, and that allow us to choose. We are able to choose our given path, even if. You have decided what your plans are and your purpose ahead of time before you come into this physical form. You have the will to change your path and to decide to go in another direction. It all depends on you. So this is how destiny and will comes together. Yes, you have a predetermined purpose, but your will can adjust the path you are going. Just like when you are in a holiday, you have certain plans and certain things you want to do. But along the way, you may switch out your plan or choose alternative routes. So, what is the meaning of life? From my perspective, there is no meaning to life, except for the one that you create for yourself. As a spiritual being, you already decided what your purpose is before you come, and as a human being, you can change and alter your path and change the meaning of life accordingly, depending on what you experience on Earth. So whether is it a predetermined destiny, or is your will that you exercise during your current life, 
Both of these meaning are created by you. What do you really want to do? Why do you want to come here? And what meaning do you assign to the time you are here on earth? If you are spiritually awakened, you may think that what is the point of working so hard? What is the point of playing this game in the 3D physical world? But ask yourself, why do you want to experience the 3D physical world? Why as a 5D spiritual being, why do you want to experience the three-dimensional? It's all for the experiences. Like in the spiritual realm, you, doesn't get, you don't get to experience the contrast you experience as a human being. When you are in your hometown, everything seems very routine. And when you go for a holiday, you get to experience new things that you wouldn't experience when you are back in your hometown. From a limited ego perspective, your life is from the day you were born to the day you die. But from a spiritual big picture perspective, every day some people die and every day some people are born. There is always a replenishment. Life is just renewing and replenishing itself every single day. It's always expanding. So what about karma? Why do people have good or bad karmas? For people who have bad karmas, they may see that it's a form of punishment. Like they did something bad in their previous life. And when they come into this life, they experience the same bad events. So from the way I see it, karma is, and reincarnation is like a game. Well, have you ever played an online game? And when you lose the game, you want to play a game. Why do we want to play it again? Why do we want to go through the same set of circumstances and lose again because we all have this hope that we'll win in the end if again is too simple and you win all the time it's not fun the fun of playing a game is to keep trying and keep using different angles and tactics and see how you could win the game this is the same as karma when you experience something bad in your previous life you come back to this current life to experience the same circumstances. It's not because it is a punishment to you, but it is because you want to approach the same circumstances with a different angle and have a different experience. This game is fun for the soul. The soul wants to know and is curious what would happen if I take a different approach. Like in my previous video, I talked about how I was a witch in my previous life and I was silenced. And this lifetime I get to make the same choice again. Do I want to neglect my intuition or do I want to follow my intuition now? Do I want to express what I truly feel or do I just want to silence myself and keep quiet yet again? And if you play the same game with the same approach, then you get the same outcome you just keep looping and looping again because once you go back and re-enter into the source spiritual realm, you will want to come back to this earth to experience the game again. You will want to keep trying until you get a different outcome. Going for a holiday is to experience something different and something more contrasting. If you're just going to come to earth and do the same thing as what you did in your previous life, then there is no fun for your soul then there is no point of living. You can make your trip and holiday a good one or a bad one. That's up to you. Earth is not our home, but more like a holiday for us to experience. How you want to experience it depends on what you want to do with it. When our loved ones dies and we feel grief, we want to keep everything permanent as it is. We can't accept the change and the loss that we experience. But what truly is permanent is the continuation of life, this continuation of spirit. And if you are experiencing grief, watch this next video for more insights.